My name is Hugo Teso. I work at F Secure Corporation as a director, head of aviation cybersecurity services. Being commercial pilot for already 17 years, ever since involved in the cybersecurity, private and commercial research around the aviation industry, I detected a few years ago that the new technologies, mainly in the form of the enable airplanes that were uh, starting to be deployed in the, in the fleets, uh, would require a lot of uh, cybersecurity efforts from uh, mainly the operators and the suppliers of the operators. And I realized at that moment that such an effort would require not just traditional cybersecurity experts, but a special breed of cybersecurity experts with a deep aviation knowledge and expertise. F-Secure has been working on creating such a team, such a catalog of services and products made specifically for the aviation industry and for aviation companies. Aviation in industry, like any other industry, that it's brand new for the cybersecurity challenge. Um, has a lot of uh, very specific technologies, regulations, standards that require very specific knowledge in order to uh, properly apply cybersecurity frameworks uh, to cover the most critical assets, in this case the airplanes and all the surrounding systems. Most of our customers, the, the first approach they try is to sit down on the same table cybersecurity experts from their own company and um, representatives of the other more aviation uh, specific business areas and try to enforce communication to approach the cybersecurity challenge uh, by their own. But they soon realize that uh, such a communication cannot really be enforced and the differences are bigger than they may anticipate. And that's where F-Secure, with the experience that we have in these same processes with other customers, can be of help. We can sit on this same table and our team has in the same person the knowledge from cybersecurity, flight operations, maintenance, uh, even pilots. So we can actually facilitate this communication and make that happen. In aviation, you, you don't deal only with um, uh, business brand uh, impact for any security breach. You also have to include the even more powerful uh, safety. Airplanes, by default, are secure and safety proof. The problem that aviation industry is facing now is that uh, until recently, an airplane, when it was delivered by one of the OEMs, it was pretty much delivered in the same way it was going to be flown by the operator. Modern airplanes are more and more like uh, when you buy a car. You just don't go into the shop and buy a car. You say, okay, I want this car, and then you select all the different systems and different changes that it's going to make it your car, right? Pretty much the same happens in aviation. Operators are investing more and more in making their airplanes special compared with, uh, with others. And they do that with systems like, for example, the cabin systems, in-flight entertainment, in-flight connectivity, even for the short flights nowadays, by providing the crews and the different staff or related to the airplane with better, more modern tools that are going to help them make the flight experience better for the passenger and cheaper for the operator. The airplane is no longer operated the same way it's delivered. OEMs, as I say, they do a really solid job related to cybersecurity, but all the modifications the airplane suffers from the moment it's delivered to the operator until it starts to fly increase the complexity in ways that OEMs cannot always uh, predict. There has been what I call a transfer of uh, responsibility in the cybersecurity sense from OEMs or even manufacturers to the operator. Now the operator, the airline, is responsible for the cybersecurity of, I would say, half of the systems related uh, with the operation of an airplane, both on board and on the ground. And that's something brand new. That's one of the reasons aviation industry now is starting to look and face on cybersecurity. One of the traditional uh, lines of defense that aviation has had 
uh, in matters of cybersecurity has been the really aviation specific technologies that they are using on the, for example, on the airplanes. Pretty much every single piece of technology was uh, different from the traditional IT. Uh, from software to hardware, pretty much everything was different. So for any potential attacker to be able to face an aviation piece of technology and attack it, it would first require to gain this aviation specific knowledge. Usually you need access to uh, representative environments, devices, it was really complicated. For many different reasons, over the past years, aviation has started to use every day more and more uh, commercial of the shelf technologies. Um, that makes uh, aviation a little bit cheaper to create, uh, to operate and also to maintain. Uh, so it has many benefits for the business of an aviation company. But of course, that also means that this uh, line of defense uh, enforced by the lack of knowledge is fading out. So every day more and more, a normal attacker, potential attacker with, uh, let's say, average or traditional cybersecurity knowledge uh, is going to be able to face uh, more and more systems on an airplane without really require this uh, aviation specific knowledge. Now the problem the companies are facing is that um, even though they're starting to adopt this type of technologies, uh, the percentage of adoption is yet not as high as to allow them to protect their business and those assets without them requiring themselves the aviation knowledge. The adoption of this type of technologies is usually relegated to the cabin side of the airplane, what is called the open world. Non-critical systems, systems that are usually facing directly the passenger and that have no physical connection with the critical systems on board an airplane. Any eventual attack successful that may happen against one of those systems is just going to have some impact on the brand of the company, maybe the availability of some known critical systems like the entertainment for the passengers, but in any case it's going to have any repercussion for the safety of the airplane. In aviation, trust is everything. If you don't trust an airline or operator, you will not take their flights no matter how cheap they are. And in aviation, brand is trust. You lose the brand, you lose the trust, and then you have the business impact.